If you know how to cook, first of all, I'm incredibly jealous. And secondly, you probably know the importance of balance. If you do get that balance just right, you give a very complex flavor profile to the person who's lucky enough to be sitting at your dinner table. Well, in my mind, the Porsche 911 Carrera T is the perfect example of that conceit in the automotive world. Slotting in between the base Carrera and the more powerful Carrera S, the 911 Carrera T uses the standard engine of the former with lots of the go-fast goodies of the latter, including a seven-speed manual transmission. It all adds up to a particularly delicious recipe if you're lucky enough to be out on a twisty road like this. So let's chow down. Before we dig in, please be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Now, back to the main course. Like I said, the 911 Carrera T uses the same three liter turbocharged flat six as the base Carrera, which means 379 horsepower and 331 pound-feet of torque. And while that might not sound like a lot in supercar terms, trust me, it's more than enough, especially since this car is 100 pounds lighter than a base 911 Carrera. Also helping matters is the fact that it gets a standard mechanical limited slip differential, which helps both acceleration and performance when powering out of a corner. There's also standard Porsche Active Suspension Management Sport, which gives it a lower stance than other 911 Carreras, so it kind of hunkers down a little bit more and can dig into corners a little bit harder. And then of course there's the rolling stock, which is a 20 and 21 inch staggered wheel setup borrowed from the 911 Carrera S, but coated in titanium gray paint, which is a 911T signature. And that gray matches perfectly with the agate gray that you'll find on the door decals, door mirrors, rear badging, and rear grille slats. Ultimately, the 911 Carrera T doesn't break crazy new styling ground for the 911 family. It still has the same basic shape. It doesn't have any wild gooseneck wings on the rear or crazy aerodynamic add-ons up front, but the modifications are subtle enough to show you that you're in something special without necessarily broadcasting it to the entire world. That applies to the powertrain as well. This being a base engine, it doesn't necessarily overwhelm you with power, but it's the only way that you can get a seven speed manual transmission with that lower power base motor. So keeping the thing on boil is an absolute joy. This stick shift is among the best I've ever used. Porsche just knows how to get those primary controls down perfectly. The action is great. The automatic rev matching system makes you feel like a hero and it's easy to turn off if you don't like it. It's just a brilliant, brilliant machine. Those plaudits apply to the handling as well. Thanks to that Porsche active suspension management, you can kind of get the best of both worlds with a decently smooth ride on the freeway, but then once you turn onto a road like this one, you flick it over into Sport Plus, the dampers firm up nicely, and it all just becomes a little bit more aggressive and a hell of a lot more fun to drive. And then there's the steering. Again, Porsche just nails that primary control just perfectly. The company has never had a problem with electric power steering, even when they first debuted it on the 911 a few years ago. And that's just as true of this vehicle as it was back then. There's so much feel, the weight builds up very naturally as you dig into a corner a little bit harder, and you can absolutely tell what the front wheels are doing at any given moment. When you start approaching the limits of their adhesion, which you have to be going incredibly fast to do, they tell you with plenty of warning so that you can ease off the throttle and balance the car a little bit more front to rear. We also need to have a quick conversation about these seats. Now the standard Carrera T gets four-way power adjustable sport buckets, which are actually really comfortable, and they come with a really slick sport tex insert that kind of just looks a little special and slightly retro. These, however, are the fixed back racing buckets, which is what you get standard on a Porsche GT car and they are so incredibly supportive. I will admit that they do get confining on a long trip, and the only real adjustability you have is fore and aft. So if you like a slightly more reclined stance, the buckets are not for you. But if you make a habit out of spending your days at the track or on roads like this one, they're a pretty tempting option for sure. We just got done with our Star Awards testing, which included taking some performance cars to a track, and we as a group pretty rapidly discovered that one of two things was true. Either a car was thrilling and exciting and involving, but always on the bleeding edge of disaster, or it was a little bit aloof, but incredibly flattering, managing the grip for you perfectly so that you always felt like you were getting the best line, even if you weren't actually doing that kind of work. Well, somehow the 911 Carrera T splits the difference between the two perfectly. It is a very involving vehicle. You cannot be complacent when you're driving the Carrera T, in part because it is still a rear-engine, rear-wheel drive car that feels like it could snap around on you if you really screw it up. 
but the limits are so incredibly high. There's plenty of grip and plenty of brake to handle things if you really feel like you're about to screw it up. But ultimately, you don't feel like you're on that bleeding edge of disaster nearly as much. It's thrilling, it's involving, it's incredible, but it's still a little bit safe, which is a perfect thing for a streetcar to be. From soup to nuts, the Porsche 911 Carrera T is a thrilling driving experience, offering you all the power, grip, and balance that you want without ever overwhelming you with any single component of the recipe. Like your favorite comfort food, you always want to go back for seconds, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. <laughs> 